This is the ultimate guide to increasing your CS2 FPS along with some tricks that I've used to help my FPS and my game just run smoother. Starting with some Steam settings. First off, go to Steam settings by right clicking on Steam and then clicking settings, start at friends and chat and disable the enable Steam avatars and animated avatars frame settings. Then move to the interface tab. Disable enable smooth scrolling in web views, disable enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views, disable enable hardware video decoding and note test. This does require a Steam restart, but you could do that later because we still got a few more things to change. So after that, go to the library tab and turn on the first three options. All of these just slightly optimize Steam a little bit more and make it take up a little bit less of your CPU, which should help your CS a little bit. And finally, for Steam settings, go to the Broadcast tab and just turn off Broadcasting and you are good with Steam settings overall. But before you open your game, the only real launch setting I've seen used and recommended is Minus Threads. Now, when determining the number you put after it, go to your Task Manager, go to Performance and see how many cores your CPU has and then add 1 to it. So my CPU has 8 cores, so I do minus threads 9, and that's the only launch command you need. If you have 16 cores, you would do minus threads 17, or whatever number it is, just plus 1 to whatever it is, and then you're just making sure you're using all of your cores, if you weren't for whatever reason. Now, one thing I absolutely need you guys to make sure you're doing, to make sure your game is smoother, is if you have an SSD, make sure CS2 is on it, and not your main hard drive. This makes you load into maps probably five times faster. It makes the game open quicker. It makes you get way less frame drops. You need to do it. You could do this by going to properties, installed files, and move the install folder of CS2 onto your SSD. I already did mine, so it asked me to move it onto my hard drive, but I don't want to do that. So either way, I can 100% guarantee you if you have an SSD, this will heavily optimize your game along with just clearing up storage on whatever drive you have. I had like 10 gigabytes free at one point and it was making my game run slower, 100% more stutter, stuff like that. So clear up space, do this. This is the number one change I recommend. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. If you've been looking to trade out your old boring skins for new ones, Skins Monkey is the place. By clicking the link in the description, you'll get a 35% deposit bonus when depositing with cash and crypto and up to a free $5 bonus on your first trade. So be sure to click that link. Skins Monkey also has the freebies tab where they run 24 seven giveaways that are completely free to join with crazy skins. And if you're looking to actually get your hands on some good skins, Skins Monkey is the quickest way to do it. So be sure to get that free $5 and 35% deposit bonus now trading your CSGO skins with that link at the top of the description. Now we're gonna move on to Nvidia settings, which are gonna help you a lot. First, obviously make sure your monitor is set to the right hertz. Mine is 144 hertz, so make sure yours is set to the max as well, whether that be 144, 240, 500, whatever it may be. Next, go to the Adjust Image Settings tab. There is tons of settings you can mess with here in advance, but honestly, just changing the bottom tab to performance seems to be fine, and I haven't noticed a difference with changing all of the advanced settings, so I would just stick with changing the bottom thing to performance, and that should help you a lot. Back to Adjust Desktop Size and Position on the left, on your main monitor, you've got options between Display and GPU. Setting it to display might make your alt tabbing slower because it uses zero GPU power and setting it to GPU makes alt tabbing faster but uses a little bit of GPU power. So there's not really a noticeable difference so I would honestly just set it to GPU so you could alt tab quicker. But that is all for Nvidia settings and they're nice and easy. So let's move on to the in-game settings which are a little bit more complicated. First off, under advanced video settings, they should look similar to this but I'll cover a few different things. First, shadows. For dynamic shadows, you have the option to do sun only and all. Switching to all provides you a huge advantage in game at the cost of some FPS. So personally, if you're not if you're getting above like 100 FPS in game, let's say, I would say keep it on all. If you're getting below that, obviously you need everything to keep your FPS, so I would do sun only. But typically you want to keep that on all. It provides you a huge advantage in game and is worth having on. Along with this, you could set global shadow quality to medium or turn it off for slightly better FPS. There isn't really a difference between medium and very high. You get the same advantage on medium and very high. So I'd recommend just setting it to medium if you're going to use it. 
And finally, with FidelityFX Super Resolution, if you have a super old graphics card, like I have the 1080, which is very old at this point, I set this to performance. If you have a newer one, like a 3060 or newer, you should disable this because it'll make your game look worse relative to the amount it increases your FPS. So if you have newer stuff, this ain't really gonna do anything for you. But yeah, I hope this stuff does help you guys. It definitely should. It did help me, especially with switching my game to the SSD. That was the best decision I've ever made. And of course, be sure to check out Skins Monkey with that link at the top of the description. 5% bonus and 35% deposit bonus. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.